Oh, so we're headed to the mountains, do a little mountain riding. Uh, it's kind of nice coming out here in the winter time when there's not a lot of people around. So the Shinko 244 tires. Yep, definitely got my first flat. So I finally got some new inner tubes, motorcycle inner tubes, and they're heavy. And I actually have these stock inner tubes on these tires. This is the rear one. Ever since I got that 72 volt battery are really starting to wear down. So if you're wondering if you can run the stock inner tubes, you can. The downside of running heavier inner tubes is, uh, well, they have more weight, but supposedly they're more durable. Let's actually see how much they weigh. Dang, two pounds in one ounce. And these tubes are very thick feeling. Whoa, what's this red? It's not blood, I promise. So I've been running these Shinko 241 tires on the stock tubes since uh, summertime. And I have not gotten any flats yet until now. And it's uh, what, mid-December? So I don't know, I probably have about uh, six months, maybe more on these tires. Actually, I had the Shinkos on in the very first video I published with this bike uh, five months ago. This will be the bike stand for today. So the Shinko 244 tires, what are they, 244s? So these Golden Boy tires have been pretty darn good. Um, I will be upgrading these rotors to a bigger rotor soon. 220? Yeah, the bigger rotor. And these Fast Ace front forks have been awesome, but I think it's time for these stickers to be removed. I just like the clean look. If you're interested in purchasing a Fast Ace fork, I still have that discount code for this one. It is actually pretty darn good. And it's way cheaper than the Fox 40s. Take out the four bolts down here. Or, you know, loosen them up. They don't have to come out. I know what the problem is. I'm pulling out. I think I need to be pulling up. So my wrench totally slipped on there and mess is bowled up. Ran out to Home Depot real quick and grabbed what I believe to be is the correct ones, please. Oh no, it's not fitting on there now. All right, this uh, 12 sided one will fit on there. Finally. So even with this Big tire, all you need is two normal uh, plastic tire levers to get it off and on. It's a lot tricky, but it can be done. In case you haven't seen them, the stock inner tubes on the Surron, the 2022 model anyway, are CST 2.0 slash 2.25 dash 19. Let's see how much they weigh. Unfortunately, I can tell already uh, the stock inner tube is quite a bit lighter than this one. No. All right, stock inner tube zeroed. This thing is like 11.9 ounces. So like these, these other inner tubes are significantly more. We'll just call it like 12 ounces about. Yeah, 12 ounces. Over twice the weight. Dude, this sucks. Honestly, I kind of wish I just would have got these uh, CST ones. Because, I mean, they held up for like five months or six months since like June and it's December, whatever that is. I honestly don't feel like if they held up that well, I really need to upgrade them. I just ordered these because like, it's the only thing I could find that would like match. I didn't know what these ones were. So I'm gonna blow the whole thing up and see if I can find the source of the leak. just like the tiniest little puncture ever. So I did a pretty thorough inspection of the inner tube here. I don't seem to see anything major that could have caused the leak. So I'm just gonna put the new inner tube on there and let's roll. I 
I have no idea how I did this before. Dude, this is like impossible. I don't know how I did this last time, but I definitely did it. Um, okay, I figured it out. I needed to let a little bit of air out of the inner tube. And here goes, boom. Dang, this tire is freaking heavy. Error, it's more than 10 pounds. You know, come to think of it, using this uh, thread locker might have been the reason why that I had such a difficult time getting this off. So I got the new uh, inner tube. Feeling a little more confident I won't get a flat. Not that I was really worried before. I kind of want to switch to 241 just to try something different. Whoa! Dude, it's been raining here a lot. Oh my goodness, that is like washboard. Holy smokes. Beautiful views out here. This is all uphill if you cannot tell. So if you're new here, this is a 72 volt Saran. Uh, can run 12,000 watts. I don't know, like you can look at the numbers, I'll have them on the screen here. You really don't need that much power. It's fun for a little burst though. So the Shinko 244 tires don't give me all the confidence going around these turns. Whoa! I don't recall that being there. That could be dangerous, come flying flying past here. <sighs> Probably shouldn't be getting that close to it. December in LA gets a little bit of rain here. Woo! Chilly! Chilly in the shade. We'll be heading on over to um, the other side of that range. Dang, I can see a little snow-capped mountain way off in the distance there. Dude, it's freaking middle of December and there's fresh grass growing out here. It's like the oddest thing in LA. This is like dead all year long. Get a couple, a little bit of rain for a couple days. For the record, I'm freezing my balls off. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? Dude, this is the greenest I have ever seen it over here. In the middle of December. Whipping through the city on the 72 volt. Man, nothing is better than rush hour on the Saran. Right, here's where the Saran comes in handy right here, buddy. Get a little bit of sunlight up here. Now. Like I can't see around this guy. That was a cop. Don't worry, it's just my bicycle. Well, that will conclude today's ride. That was a blast ripping through there. Thanks for watching. Catch you in my next video.